I have already posted a video on how to retouch this particular image using Capture One and Lightroom. Like it's a full on edit. It takes quite a while, but if you take your time to sit down and watch it, you will enjoy the process. One thing I left out was how to add texture to the background. So I added a particular texture to the background before I posted the image and the image took off on Instagram. And I feel like I robbed you of a particular process I was supposed to teach and this video is supposed to do that particular job. So in today's video, I'll be adding texture to the background you see over here. So this is what you guys see and what you saw on Instagram. What's something different? First off, we need to think about a couple of things we need to do. I mean, in that video, I did mention if you know the processes, it becomes way easier. So what we need to keep in mind is the image we want to use, the color tone of the image we are coming to put the set backdrop on, the color of the backdrop, how blurry or how in focus the backdrop is. And last but not least, we need to check out the lighting condition in the image. So with all that in mind, with all that I have said, the first thing we need to do is to go make sure we download the image and to not bother you guys too much. I've already gone to far length to look for a particular site that helps with that particular problem. So I'm going to put this link in the description box below. What you need to know is always make sure open access is checked just because these images are owned by people. And when you have open access and they give you other images to download or these images to download, just, just know that you're not going to have that copyright infringement whenever whoever the image is for sees it on your image. So I chose this, this basket of flowers. And as you can see, there's public domain over here, which shows you anybody can use this particular image hits on download opens up into a whole different layer right or into a new image gives you the full resolution right click and hit on save us i've already downloaded this and it's in my downloads as you can see over here so this is the image i want us to use this is the image i used for whatever it is i posted and this is what i want us to use so we come into photoshop and what I need to do here in Photoshop is to select the subject out of the background. So I'll do that by using a quick selection tool. And since I'm using Photoshop 2023, the select subject is uh, a little bit okay and better. So after having this, I am going to add some selection to this because I feel like the selection wasn't done properly. Right. Or I have already taken the liberty to do the selection already. So I don't need to do any selection at all. I'll just load the selection later. So all I have to do is just drag the image onto the background and resize to fit. So I am going to say, I think I like it this way. This is how the image is on my, on, on this particular image. I want to replace the background with or add texture to it. I'm not replacing the background. I'm adding texture. We need to keep in mind that we are going to use blending modes for this. There are three common blending modes used to add texture onto backdrops. There's a multiply blending mode, there's the overlay, and there's a soft light. There's a rough line between the soft light and the overlay because the overlay usually works for darker um, backgrounds and the soft light. I mean, it's still dark, but it opens it up a little bit. Now we need the selection to cut out our subjects. So I come to select load selection then all i have to do is go and look for the selection i did which is i have renamed it to subject and i hit on ok and as you can see i have this over here then all i have to do is just hit on the max tool over here and this is what i have but let's keep in mind the color of the background the mood of the background the, the tone of the image replacing it with this particular and you realize it has become more colorful so there are two things we can do we can either reduce the opacity and by reducing the opacity we kind of lose the whole effect you can also change the blending mode and we have something like this or you can add or clip a hue and saturation layer to this so all i'm going to do is hold option on the keyboard hover my cursor in between these two layers and clip and clip this onto the background layer we want to add texture to. So I'm going to go into my master and reduce the saturation 
a little bit right so we'll start from all the way then move it up a little bit then the next thing i want us to do is to change the hue to match that of the background just so that it doesn't feel out of place so i'm going to keep it somewhere around here let me zoom out i feel like the saturation is a bit too much so i'm going to reduce this to 30. then i'll reduce this a little bit to and i mean i'll increase it to 70. so if we take a look at this this is the before and after before and after now i want us to keep something in mind if i zoom in you realize the textures on the backdrop is almost as close or in focus as that of my image over here that is not what we're looking at when i toggle this off and i zoom in onto the background you realize it's out of focus so we need to mimic that effect over here i'll turn it back on i'll go into filter blur gaussian blur and here in gaussian blur i'll add blur to the background just so that it mimics that out of focus look on my background so let's move this up to say five five should be okay for me and when i add that effect onto my background because it's a smart layer it adds a smart filter to it so i'll zoom in now and i'll toggle between so far so good we have a calm looking replaced texture onto the background so this is how you go about adding texture to your background now, there's one last thing i feel like you can add to this just to make the whole thing sit on a very good um, image so what you need to do is to now match the the luminosity of the whole image to the background and one thing i like to do is to add vignette to this in photoshop so what i'll do is create a new layer pick my gradient fill make sure i have my radial filter selected reverse checked opacity 50 and i am selecting from black to background make sure it's sorry make sure you have the black on the foreground and the white on the background i'll then zoom out hold shift on the keyboard then i'll drag from the middle right you see how in focus the vignette is bringing the image so i'll do the opposite for the second one then i'll change the blending mode from normal to soft light now i'll tend to reduce the opacity a little bit then i'm good to go one last thing before i leave i would like to add some noise to the background just to sell the look so noise add noise let's add five so adding a noise value of five sets everything right in tone for me so this is where we started from and this is where we are at where we started from and where we are at i feel like i need to change this to soft lights just so that it sits well okay so before and after before and after and that's my friends is how you change or add texture onto your backdrop thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video peace